a swimsuit or a sari? Well, this is both. They call it a bikini sari, something you can wear on the beach or in the water. When Indian women started coming to these Delhi-based swimwear designers asking for something that was modest but still appropriate for the beach, this is what they came up with. Starting at a price of $600, it's not cheap. But one of the creators says the sari is still the backbone of the Indian fashion industry only because it's always open for evolution. Today, if the sari is being reinvented for a lifestyle of holiday, for, for the changing mindset of the Indian travel consumer or the holiday goer, it's only yet another way to make sari even more um, viable in today's wardrobe and not losing such a fantastic garment from, its, from our roots. But if changing sari fashions are unavoidable, the traditional style is still very popular meaning it's one of the few garments globally to survive generations of fashion cycles. And while to the outsider, sari styles may look similar, in India there are hundreds of ways of draping them. Every generation, community and region interprets it differently. So who can wear a sari? Well, just about anyone. It's five and a half meters of unstitched fabric, so it looks good on just about anyone. Traditional family-owned sari retailer Chabra 555 has been in the business for decades. It's seen the sari become less of a staple, more an elaborate piece of clothing worn only on special occasions. Younger women, especially in urban India, save it for weddings and other traditional ceremonies, increasingly preferring to wear Western outfits day to day. For a cocktail, for a reception. But retailers say there are signs that the sari is coming back into style. My great-grandfather started it and today I'm the fourth generation selling sari, so we know all about saris. But suddenly there's a new crowd who's coming to asking buying saris from us. These young girls who are much younger than me also. And they suddenly want to come and say we want to wear a sari in the night, so please get it ready and we'll be wearing it for a night party, which never used to happen. So that's the beauty of it. Across India, many markets specialize in saris too, but you don't have to buy one off the peg. So I've decided to make my own bespoke sari. So this is a fabric I like, and this is a lace. So I'm going to get my local tailor to make me my own unique sari. Master Ji, ye bana sakte? With the saris appeal broadening, that's generating more work for businesses like these. And for the customer, well, it's an opportunity to put your own spin on things. So you ready? Huh? Okay. So that's it then. My own sari is ready, the one I designed. It cost me less than $25 and there's only one piece in the world.